Hi guys, this is John Callum from KHL Motorsport. Um, we were supposed to do a completely different video on on the sim rig that we were managed that we managed to uh, complete uh, a couple months ago. Um, but uh, in the light of um, the what's going on in the world today, this epidemic, uh, this pandemic. Um, we want. I decided that we should make a video that's slightly different in tone. Um, yeah. Uh, so the video will be arranged like uh on basically two things. Uh, one is what may what consists of this sim racing thing, this sim rig. Uh, it, it includes footage that was shot uh maybe a month or so ago. And the uh, second part of this video would be how it's like racing at home, and how's it like in uh, um, how it's how are things going on in the local racing community uh, while um, this situation worldwide is going on that we're stuck in our homes, uh, trying to find a utility in our lives, trying to keep ourselves busy while. Uh, staying at home and not aiding the spread of this um, sickness around so yeah um, hope you enjoy this video My computer broke so that gave, gave me the impetus last year to uh, buy a desktop a more, more modern desktop that could probably play modern games and to be powerful enough to have good graphics I don't really know the specs so I kind of need to use a cheat sheet um, I basically bought the CPU in one shot except for the graphics card uh, I, I settled with an MSI A320M Pro M2 a motherboard with a AMD Ryzen 5 2400G uh, with an onboard Radeon Vega graphics uh, module. Uh, it, it initially had an 8GB RAM stick but uh, we, uh, I added an additional 8GB uh, so now it's 16GB total. Uh, I fitted it with a 120 GB SSD and uh, fit uh, and reinstalled an old 500 GB hard disk. The case is the cheapest Vikings branded case that uh, will work for the whole shebang. And then when I had additional money, I sprung for an AMD RX 580 graphics card with 8 GB uh, RAM. Luckily, somebody was disposing of his uh, Thrustmaster. T300RS uh, steering wheel. Uh, it actually came with the package with uh, with his uh, TH8A shifter and it also came with three pedals uh, with a three pedal setup and also it came with his place seat evolution. So I got a pretty good deal. It wasn't cheap but considering the, the condition and the quality of the goods uh, uh, on the package, it's, it, it was okay. So how has this been like this sim racing thing? You know, how does it compare to a real car? I mean, do we, you know, since this is a force, force feedback wheel, it kind of does make you um, feel uh, understeer and oversteer um, as it relates to the steering wheel, but kind of lacks butt feel. That really makes the difference when you're driving at the limit or driving in loose conditions. But we played um, a set of Corsa, I Racing, Dirt 2.0, and R Factor. And um, yeah, I mean, it, it's a game, but you know, it will teach you things. And and we we are enjoying the competition uh, online with other Filipino racers. Um, we've joined um, the the races under uh under OE eighty seven we using uh i racing for some reason we're racing Miatas all the time um but yeah um i racing i think is mo very very realistic uh our factor is old so we're also racing in the VVTI cup 
Uh, however, R Factor 1 is really, really, really old. But since it's old, it's kind of compatible with most any computer of most any spec in the past 10 years, I guess. So it's very, it's a very democratic way of um, um, r racing online. So I think it's a pretty okay game in that regard. And the competition is also fierce uh, in, in that aspect. Um, so we're having fun. We're having fun. I mean, if you're grid racing in real life, you kind of want to gain as much seat time in a simulator as possible because that will teach you how other players react or other competitors react on the uh, on the track so that you could avoid getting into accidents at least on uh, on the, on the part when you first start until the first corner i think that one is kind of hard to practice and of course overtaking was uh, is, a, is is a part of race craft that uh, everyone should figure out it's not always being the faster driver and those things you can learn uh, and, uh, and practice and put to practice um, on, on a sim rig, uh, on playing video games. But driving the car, but driving a real car on the limit, yeah, there are things you can pick up uh, with the sim rig, but um, nothing beats driving a real car. Uh, the real danger of it all, the expense of it all. Uh, that cannot be replicated with video games but um, it's a pretty good analog but I really suggest people playing this playing you know who are very serious in sim racing because I kind of was a I wasn't a very I, serious uh, video game player in the sense that I joined competition I've never done that to a very big extent except for certain uh, events that Tuasan Racing School has organized in the past but but to be a pro gamer I'd never imagined that to be a career uh, I'd never imagined that to be a career but right now I've been I'm watching YouTube and I've been watching uh, both local and uh, and foreign YouTubers playing their playing games and making money off of that so but it was not really my dream my dream was to play around with cars and I think God has been good so far we've been able to do that and we hope to continue doing that um, so yeah it's kind of weird for me to come back 10, 10 to 15 years later Playing video games again. <laughs> I thought I graduated from playing video games. But I guess there's when there's nothing to do, we kind of gravitate to fun things like this. It's been fun. It's been good. Um, we're trying, my, you know, my family and I, we're trying to keep safe here in the house. Yeah. You know, not so bad may be a prison but it's a comfortable prison I guess but uh, yeah um, anyway this is not you know this hasn't been a very well polished video but uh, at least it's some content that also passes our time you know it's also a good time to pass the time by uh, making this editing this and so on and uploading this and you know if you have any questions, please, please do do in the do write in the comments. We'd, I'd like to answer them and make a separate video. Uh, and I'd like to know also how you guys are doing out there uh, in these weird times. So yeah, guys, please do take care of yourselves. God bless and uh, have faith that. Uh, we, we would all get through this. Okay. See you guys.